Our first time I had I went in contact with balloons was a couple of years ago at a club night. Um, my friend said it was illegal high, so he just gave me one. And yeah, it's a, it's an interesting effect. It's just literally like 15 seconds, 20 seconds, and you just feel really lightheaded and, and things do tend to kind of like slow down a bit as well. So it's just a bit of a, 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 a quick high for like 15 to 20 seconds. It might be like individual person to person kind of phases. Like one person, I don't know if you might have been lying, but he said he was seeing a giant cat or something like that. See pe where people can get addicted to it because, because it's such a quick high. I can see people get buying like 15 and just kind of like doing it within succession so they don't lose the high. But um, I don't think it's really addictive. Yeah, I only did that five times. I thought like, oh, this is nothing. It's not worth 10 pounds. So wherever you've got kind of like big music kind of atmosphere, be it a festival, a club night, especially kind of like a club, a, a, a house night and stuff like that. That's where a lot of people tend to do it. But I've done like a film on it, Patient 4318, about a girl who kind of like has her life ruined from getting addicted to balloons and stuff like that. And I don't know if it, it can be policed, especially in festivals where um, people are even doing illegal drugs and stuff like that. And I think you have to have your priorities straight. Try to stop the illegal drugs that can actually kill people rather than going down to like uh, balloons, which I, I, I feel they can, if you do it in the wrong way, it can, it can suffocate you and you can die from it. But like I said, I think it's put more priority in terms of drugs to be trying to police rather than that one. As a music journalist, I'm at festivals every year. Um, I'm at shows all the time. And while I predominantly cover hip hop, R and B, um, you know, you normally you find people smoking weed. Um, but at festivals, it's this new. Do they call them poppers or whatever? It's yeah, something like poppers. Yeah. So I just see kids just inhale them as i'm walking and all i hear is this tink because someone's thrown it away and it's hit another one on the ground if you go to wireless festival for example once everybody clears out there's all these balloons and silver tubes and stuff all over the floor hundreds and thousands of them so it's something that the kids are doing regularly boy well, you can't it comes in waves it's like the you get you get that kind of thing and then like if you're hearing some music as well then it kind of like affects that no no it kind of like multiplies it you know, some someone like someone who doesn't know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, they might do it in five seconds, but um, it'll probably take me about. It's hard to say, but maybe a minute. Okay. Yeah, I like to make the most of it. But in in a festival, that's where people charge the most amount of money because people know that they have the money on them, and they know there is nowhere else for them to get it. So they're like, right, this is how much it costs. Do you want it or not? Like you need a balloon and then it comes with like this, um, like a charger thing. Um, and then they're little canisters and then you kind of just pop it in, you put, it's really easy to do, anyone can do it. And it's quite cold, which is weird. Like it, like it could burn your hands. A lot of people have scars because of like um, cracking them. They're called crackers as well. And then you just like take it, like like you'd inhale it like a, like a cigarette almost. Like you have to take, to take deep breaths. Um, you don't stop and then yeah, you're just high. People like to rave. And like, instead of doing something hard like ecstasy, something that could have like a long-term effect, like it's just, it's easy, it's quick, it's not so addictive that you need it over and over again, you'll just finish your canisters and then you're good. So I think that's why it's so popular. You could get 24 canisters for 10 pounds. People sell it in like separately, like um, if you go over to like Hyde Park and stuff, like people do sell it just out in the park and then they'll give you like two canisters for a fiver, which is a ripoff. It actually, it's quite worrying because it's like, I can't stop. And you just find yourself finish, like you finish your whole box and it's like, oh, okay. And um, uh, the thing I've noticed is when you do it, you do one and then you have your 15, 20 seconds of highness and then you hit it, you hit another one and then you, you finish with your canisters and then you have like a really bad headache afterwards and you don't you don't while you're like preparing for your next one but it's like after you <coughs> stopped for a minute over the, more than 10 minutes then you start your head starts to hurt so it's an easy thing to find like shops do them now and now you have there's this thing called balloon gang which you can find like on instagram and twitter and it's people that actually deliver balloons to your house or wherever you are i've done it before with my friends like i didn't think it was real my friend was like let's call balloon gang i was like what that's an actual thing and then you just find the number on the internet anyone find someone that's going to deliver to you and they just they just come and deliver to you shoreditch dolster old street yeah like you find people outside like 
the really cool funky places of London, like the back streets of London, like art galleries, places like that, people sell it out on the street, like, and it's crazy. And people pop them out in the street. And it's like, I get the annoyance that the government has in, because these canisters are everywhere, everywhere. Like when you see foxes like rip up your bin bags in the morning, they're everywhere. So I do see why we should get some kind of grasp on it. These things, they're like, they're cream charges. They're used to for whipped cream and stuff like that. So regardless, there's you're gonna find someone who will carry on selling them. Like a lot, lot of shops aren't allowed to sell them unless they um, have like a license for baking nowadays that I heard. But like, I know I'm, I have a dodgy shopkeeper and he's just like to their back if that's what you want. And it's like, I don't think it, I don't think it will work. They can try, but I see the reasons why. <laughs> He wants two, yeah? Yeah. Christ, I'm waiting. Really that's going to be fucking tits off. <laughs> do what I told you to do, yeah? I agree with what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Oh, I hear a lot. Oh, yeah.